So I wanna make this video for you short and sweet, get right to the point. But basically, if you are installing the new Windows version 24H2, some people are experiencing the blue screen of death. And it's based around if you have a Western Digital NVMe, two terabyte, and it has to be the 770 two terabyte. It seems like it's not affecting the one terabyte. Now, this is all coming from Tom's hardware, which you can find the article online. I will show it to you now and I will I will leave a link down below. But what we need to do is update the firmware of that. Now, I don't have a two terabyte version, but that's not gonna stop us from how to update the firmware. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, so stay right there. So like I said, this is based around a two terabyte Western Digital 770 version. But even if you have another version of it, one terabyte, a four terabyte, the 770, the 850X, whatever Western Digital drive you do have, this is gonna be how you're gonna update your firmware. And I'm gonna show you right now how to do that. Now, before we get started here, what you could do is just go ahead and check what version you have. So you can click, do a right click there and come up to system. And this is gonna bring you right to this page, or it should. If not, click on system over here and or click on the about, because sometimes if you're here, you have to scroll all the way down, then click on about. And right here, we can see we're on 23H2. It's just something to note if you are on 23H2 or 24H2 already, because maybe you have these and then you're not affected, so you're fine, but I would still recommend doing this procedure. Okay, first of all, we're gonna talk about this site right here. You can see up top, it's tomshardware.com. And we can see the description here, or the title of it, it's Western Digital Releases Fix for Windows 11 24H2 Blue Screen of Deaths. Users are strongly advised to update their SSD firmware. And if we scroll down here, we can see there's the 770 that I'm talking about. Now that doesn't show it's a one terabyte or two terabyte on it, but it is the two terabyte versions. And you can go ahead and read the article if you want, but I just wanted to show you here. These are the ones that are basically being released to have that, or they're showing the ones that have been affected, I should say. So we can see all of them are two terabyte versions. We can see the, the model number starting with and the updated firmware version that you need to have to resolve this problem. Apparently there was a registry fix, kind of like a temporary fix for this, but this is the permanent fix. The other way does work, but this is strongly encouraged to do it this way since they do have a fix for it. And again, go ahead and read the rest of that article. Otherwise, we're gonna go over here to the other tab. Now this is, Western Digital is owned by SanDisk. So if you scroll down just a little bit, you can see software downloads, Western Digital Dashboard. That's what we need. So we need to click on this download and up here, now I'm using Microsoft Edge to download this, but you can see right up here, it is downloaded. We can go ahead and close out of all this. We can open, now I think I already had it downloaded to be honest. So yeah, see right here, I've already had it. So what you would need to do is come in here, go to your downloads folder and see I downloaded it twice because I, I thought I'd make a video on this. So I just wanted to, kind of show you what's going on here. And basically you're just gonna double click on this and just follow the prompts and your dashboard should automatically open. Now I don't have it on my desktop right now, but click the menu and it's recently right here or just click in dashboard, but we can go ahead and pin this to the start and it would, oops, it's going to, <laughs> where'd it go? It should be in the start. Um, all right, excuse me for a second here. It should be in the start here. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's what I want. I was, I thought there was more right there, but anyway, that's that's what you do is these up and down arrows just to do that. But I think we can click, there we go. Click and drag it over to here. And now we have our dashboard here. <clears throat> so we're gonna launch this and this just takes a second to open. There we go. And look at this current version of mine. Now I only have a one terabyte in here. I'm just going to show you. Uh, let's see here. 
Where? There we go. So I only have a, um, a one terabyte version of this. And another way you can kind of see what you have too is come down here, do a right click, go up to device manager, and we can go over to disk drives and see I have the SN770 one terabyte. So if yours says two terabyte, you may be affected. So anyway, this is what the dashboard looks like. You can do overview and kind of get an idea. It does say update available. So sometimes it goes right to this, but you can, if it's in this page, you can click on update and then update firmware. Now, it is strongly recommend that you do have a backup before you proceed because by an off chance, uh, something corrupted while you're doing this or you lost power or something like that, you could lose all your data. So go ahead and make sure you got a backup. Now, I really don't care if I have a backup, to be honest, because this computer, I can just reinstall Windows. I don't really keep anything important on it. Uh, let's see, the firmware update was successful. Please click rescan to proceed, rescan. And check for updates, but it is on the 731120, you probably saw a brief description of that, but we are up to date and that's how quick and easy it is. Now, if you have multiple S or multiple NVMEs that are all Western digital, two terabyte or one terabyte, four terabyte, go ahead and up, make sure they're all up to date and ready to go. Okay, so now you know how to update your firmware. Very easy, right? I still have my She-Hulk to do, uh, but I have some 850Xs in these and I think I have a gen, I might even have quite honestly, a 770, like a two or four terabyte, I can't remember. But these two computers, I don't care if they're backed up personally because it's just gonna waste more space and I can rethrow Windows back on these without a problem. Um, but a backup is quicker, okay? If you had a backup of these and these had a problem, then I could reinstall Windows and get back up and running a lot faster. But because I don't wanna take the time to do that, and it's more rare, and these, I just don't care as much. So, but with that said, actually I probably should do the streamer one because uh, this doesn't stream, but it does do my OBS. I used to have OBS on this one. Anyway, I'm digressing a little bit. As long as my main PC is backed up where I do my editing, that's what my focus is on. But I hope you learned something. I hope I taught you how to do that and made you realize what could potentially happen if you don't have your firmware up to date on these Western Digitals before you get to 20 or before the down, automatic download of 24H2 happens on your PC. So I'm rambling a little bit. Anyway, hit that comment button. Comment button? Yeah, hit the comment button. Write a comment. And then hit the thumbs up button. That's what I really meant to say. Hit the thumbs up button and then consider subscribing and hit that bell icon next to the subscription button to get notified for any future videos that I do post. Until next time, guys. Take care.